welcome back to my channel hey hey guys welcome back to my channel my name is Rebecca Short if you've never been here before if you have been here before welcome back how are we how are we doing I hope you all had a good Friday I hope you're all hydrated I hope you're all ready for a little hauling on a budget is what I'm about to call it because everything here was like 12 euro or under and nothing was it's not an extra stra it's not an extravagant haul um everything was 12 euro under but i just said i would share what i picked up today because the there's a few products that i've used before and have worked for me and then there's a few products that are new and i've never tried so it's a good mix you know i said today i'd film a little haul i went into town and i bought i didn't buy a lot but I got stuff in CH and Boots. And Boots are doing this really cute bag in association with the Irish Cancer Society and it's only a euro and it's reusable. And I was gonna do a haul on my Instagram story but then I was like, Rebecca, you're really slacking on the whole YouTube game at the moment. So I said I would make a quick YouTube video. It's now 10 to seven. I was planning on having this up for eight o'clock before Love Island, but I don't think that's gonna happen, but we'll try. You never know. I'm just out of the shower, obviously. Um, I've been seeing a lot of people recently on YouTube filming like these roby kind of things, so I thought that was a vibe. So first we went to CH. Um, I only got two bits, but I'll show you what I got anyway. The first thing I got is the Nivea um, eye makeup remover. It's my favorite eye makeup remover, and it was half price, it was only 2.50. So I got that and then I'm out of shampoo at the moment and do you know when you run out of shampoo and you forget that you run out of shampoo? So I got the Luna by Lisa Jordan uh, repairing shampoo. So why I got this, it caught my eye because it says <laughs> and it's sulfate and paraben free. So I tried this, um, I actually just used it in the shower there. First impressions, obviously, um, you can't, like how can you even tell how good a shampoo is really until your hair is like dry and stuff. Um, until you use it a few times, not just once. But uh, it kind of smells like men's shower gel, first impression, and it's very watery. Like it nearly like slipped off my hand while I was in the shower. But my hair feels clean, so, so that's positive. That's all I got from CH today. I was gonna get the Makeup Revolution foundation, but they didn't have any testers of it, and I didn't want to risk spending 10 euro and having a foundation not right, so I didn't get any. Moving on to boots. The first thing I got in boots was the Pixie uh, Glow Tonic. I've used this before. I got it in the Makeup by Mario Masterclass gift bag and I used the whole thing up, but I just never repurchased for some reason. But I saw it today and this size, this is the only the 100 mil one and it's 12 euro. So I was like, okay, cause I'm having a mare at the moment with my skin. Like, as you can probably tell, it's very red. I started using new skincare that I've gotten pure and basically my skin wasn't having it. I don't know why because I'm not going to name the skincare brand but it was like all organic and stuff so I don't know why my skin reacted in that way but it did. So we're just trying to calm this situation down at the moment so I thought the glow tonic would be a great start. Um, also in boots with regards to skincare I just use this as well I got the Neutrogena Hydro Boost uh, water gel moisturizer because I was out of moisturizer and then I got the one in pure but now I'm kind of obviously wary of that and I had this one before and I, I really liked it it's a decent one it's a cheap one it's half price at the moment in boots it was only seven euro so I picked that up because I know it works on my skin it doesn't break me out um, after that, I got some deodorant. How exciting is this haul? Um, this is actually my favorite deodorant. I'm not even lying. This is my favorite deodorant. It comes in this thing. Um, it's the Mitchum, but it's the gel. So, like, that doesn't look attractive. But it's the gel deodorant. And it's 48 hour and 
no white marks, no nothing. It's reduced in boots at the moment, so I picked it up. And I actually hadn't seen it in Ireland because I used it all the time in Australia. And then when I came home, I was like, ugh, can't use that anymore. But now I found it. So that's great. So I bought that. And the last thing I bought was the Bleach London Reincarnation Mask. Now, I am normally a hair product snob. Um, clearly from working in a hair salon. I just like refuse to use anything but salon um, Salon Products like salon brands, but I had seen amazing reviews of this online And I said I'd just give it a try. It was only a fiver um, It's for it says it's re resurrects bleach or colored hair it's vegan and cruelty free. Hold on, look at that. And the box is made from recycled cardboard. So obviously Bleach London know what they're doing. Um, but I put it on my hair there in the shower and honestly, my hair feels so soft. Like, do you know when you're washing your hair and you're rinsing it and it, your hair feels like silk? That's what my hair felt like. And like, obviously I've bleached my hair within an inch of its life as uh, one of my work colleagues said before, I have no cuticles below my ears. My hair is bleached, I'm a scalp bleach, I love blonde, bleach me up. So, I feel like my hair needs this. Like, it feels so soft. When it dries, I'll see how it like looks and everything, but to, for now it doesn't look too frizzy, I know it's still drying, um, but it, it honestly feels way softer than normal. Um, and it's only a fiver, so like, for all the gals bawling on a budget, like, if you have blonde hair and you want to look after your hair, but you don't have the funds or don't want to spend money on high-end hair products, like, it's good to have options like this. Um, I don't think this would damage your hair in any right, although I'm not a hairdresser. But, like, my hair feels nice. It's vegan and cruelty-free, so there can't even be much bad things in it really um it says in the back hydrate thirsty bleached or colored hair and improve elasticity with our moisturizing mask enriched with sunflower seed extract and micro wheat proteins to help strengthen color reduce fade and give great shine so straight away because this box says protein on it what you don't want to do is, when a hair mask has protein on it, you don't want to leave it in too long. I just basically shampooed my hair in the shower and then like really got most of the wetness out of it and then just put it in like a conditioner. Um, but with hair masks, sometimes I leave them in overnight. But a hair mask like this with protein in it, you don't want to leave that in overnight because your hair will snap. And we don't want that now, do we? So yeah, uh, that's everything I got. I just said I'd film this quick YouTube video rather than doing a haul on my story because you don't want your Instagram stories to be too long now, do you? And I want to ramble about Love Island later. The total in boots was 30 euro and in CH it was 7 euro. So everything here was 37 euro. If you have any drugstore or pharmacy brand recommendations, please leave them below. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe. I hope you have a great weekend. See you later. Bye.